to do here. One annoying thing about this, I know there are secrets around, like, I don't know, my tap tap sense tingles, and I know where most of the items are in the game. Crap. Yeah, your original weapon is generally not very good. There are rare occasions where it is helpful, though. Pro much? Alright. Recall! Oh. Yeah. You can, if you die now, you can hold the time button after you die, and you will consume one bunny doll, and it acts like you never died. Well, it, it restarts you from the, uh... Crap, how does that work? It restart. it acts like you just entered the area, so, like, all the stuff you've done is undone. But it also doesn't penalize your time very much. That was a dick move. Oh, and the spike hammer is pretty freaking awesome. It does ridiculous damage, and it has a glitch slash skillful intentional thing where you can get it stuck inside bosses, so it just bounces around inside the boss's sprite and does crazy good damage. Which generally isn't very useful, except for one boss where it's crazy useful. And yet, yeah, bounces around, which is a good and bad thing sometimes. Oh yeah, and when you do a block, you bounce up. Yay! Also, if you're playing the game for yourself, you should pretty much just go the path that I go. Um, I'm pretty much getting all of the items, as I always do. I might miss some bunny dolls, but I mean, you'll get, if you follow my path, you'll get all of the items in the order you need them. Ah, got this crappy weapon again. Whatever. Also, if you didn't notice, the kick is actually really strong, and it can help you travel more horizontal distance than your jump actually does. There we go. And it's actually a little easier to execute than a proper jump. And there's some things you can only reach by doing the kick, which threw me off for a bit. There's a great walkthrough for this game on GameFAQs. Um, if it's your first time, you might just want to go ahead and read that. Alright, oh, can't do anything here. It teach it that that trip, um, that walkthrough will give you the tips you need to know all of the tricky moves. Because there's a lot more than just jumping, running, and attacking. And there's some tricks that the game does not teach you, or there are certain tricks that you know they're hidden, only explained by a random sign you see. And there's the other character, but we can't attack her. Bunny doll. That freaking greed saver. Wake up, stupid monitor. I don't actually have a screen saver because I'm not stupid, and I just have my monitor turn itself off. Even with CRTs, I'm not sure why it was ever necessary for screen savers. Why not just turn the monitor off? Right. We can get in there, can't we? Falling distances is a pain in the butt in this area. There is a way to that mailbox. I think that may be in the... that may be with the second character, actually. You can get in there. There's a second playthrough where you go through all the same levels, but as a completely different character and lots of... Um, enemy placements and items and all that are completely different. I don't remember this being a pain in the butt to get to. You got. You should really go at it from up here. Ow! 
Yeah, if you run... Whatever. Um... Yeah, if you run, you can make it onto that. Yeah, the jump isn't actually that tricky on that, you just gotta... do a pretty plain jump. And you can break those? That would have been good to know. Oh crap. I don't honestly remember what the third time, the fourth time power is. I should not have skipped that. Um. Um. Okay, so there's stop time, there's reverse time. There's a slow mo button, um, that I never use. There's a. That may be what I just unlocked. I forget how you activate that, actually. But yeah, the, the... Oh, right, that's for player two. Um... Yeah, there's a slow-mo thing you can do... I forget how to do it. But yeah, it's bullet time, basically. This is one of the trickier... You gotta bounce off of his head to get up there. And you'll kill him the second you jump off of him, so... You can leave the area and re-enter, but I... Actually, you know... Crap. This is probably what that time slow thing is good for, but I never use it. What? Ah! I'm pretty sure I remember all of, or almost all of the locations to get the main items. And really, there are just a couple of bunny dolls I always forget. But it's been a while, so I probably forget more. Ah, uh, sure, I'll get the black wing, whatever. Oh, and this one is sort of cool with the, uh, jump, you shoot out a bunch of stuff. Also, be careful, if this guy presses you into a wall, it's game over. Which is annoying. And if you jump, jump too, if you jump too late, ow. If you jump too late when you go near those spikes, you'll actually bump your head on them. If you bump your head on spikes, you're gonna have a bad time. Also, sometimes... The, the graphics are just complete lies, like that. So, keep that in mind. If there's, there's always a way to get to a, like an item like a bunny doll or something, so. It's usually on the map you're on. Dr. N's Bizarre Shoes! Wall jump! And this, this is just the biggest dick move. If you do a wall jump off of this wall, you will hit the spikes. I, and probably everyone else, did that the first time I got them. And I got a game over for it. <laughs> the game has lots of little... Oh. Oh, let's demonstrate a jump kick. The game has lots of little mean things like that. But... Like, I don't find the game particularly unfair. Like, it's not I want to be the guy. It's fun and quick. It's more like... Um, it's forgive, sort of forgiving, like, uh, Super Meat Boy. You can immediately get back into it if you die, so... It sort of waters down the fact that it is fairly hard. But not nearly as hard as Super Meat Boy, so... Don't let that association trick you. I have to... I have to press a button or some crap to get that. Oh, yeah, there's a button. Also, wall climbing! Oh, right, there's a button. There's a switch you have to press to do that. Um, 
But if you wall jump, if you press right just as you wall jump, you can climb instead, which makes certain areas trivial and lets you get... S there actually aren't that many items you need it to get, but it makes certain areas a lot less painful. One area in particular, which I will explain when we get to it. Once again, really like the music. Come on, bunny. 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 Oh, right. And I get it on the first try, of course. Aw, oh, Do not forget to reclaim your keys, because you have to pick- you can only put the keys in one slot at a time. I swear I do this every friggin' time. I drop down from there, and I do not think to get my keys again. So... Reminder, go grab them. This weapon seems like it'd be friggin' awesome, and in a way it is, but... Um... Well, it's most useful for its jump spin attack, because you shoot out a shit ton of them. But it's not so great. Um, I usually stick with the... My main weapons are the... Um, the boomerang, light sword, and spike ball. Just because if you're really precise with the light sword or the spike ball, it kills stuff a lot faster than this thing. And this thing can only turn at certain angles, so... Sometimes it won't be able to hit ammo. It won't be able to hit enemies. Oh, and I think if you get staggered and you start falling, you can jump to gain control of yourself in the air. Because when you're stunned, you can't move yourself in the air. I just love the feeling of running in this game, and the jumping is so precise. I just love it. If you like old retro, like, platformer things or anything like that, this game is just a fucking treat. Um... Alright, let's pose! Um... No. Come on, bunny. No, I'm just not gonna... Oh, well. Everyone take a screenshot. There's a screenshot button, actually. Um... For some reason. And amusingly enough, Bunny actually does a pose when you screenshot if she's standing still. There's no practical use for it, of course, but it's just amusing. This area! Which has fucking awesome music. This area is really annoying. Like this, just this room specifically, really. What you gotta do... Press the switch. You gotta run like shit. And you gotta not normal jump when you mean wake up, monitor. Wake up. Okay. Yeah, you gotta. A nice thing if you. Ah, I should have run or run kick. If you hold run and kick or run and attack you'll just constantly do a run kick, which... Can you just go straight through it like that? Run, bunny! No, you can't. But if you aim up... Ugh. Yeah, this level, I got stuck in this for like five or ten minutes the first time. The first time is the most painful. And it feels like the first time now been forever. And don't worry, it's not always this bad. You can cheap out of it, but I wanna... I want to share the pain first. Yeah, that's what you do. But, it's also trivial, because you can do this. Yeah. So, I never do that puzzle again, because it's a massive waste of time and a pain in the butt. Also, this orb, if you jump on it, 
it gives you more time. trying to do is figure out how to do that time stop. I really don't remember how. But yeah. Um, oh, and once you stop time... Oh, that's what the power is. Once you have enough, a certain amount of time powers, you will... Um, stopping time stops draining your time meter. It only drains it once. So you have unlimited time to uh, stop time, and that was a lot of times in one sentence. But you get what I mean. And yeah, these columns disappear, or they switch positions when you stop time. Also, be sure to stop time when the lasers are not firing somewhere that would be in your way. So you, that you can still be hurt by the lasers, and they are still real. The main useful thing for the wall jump is you can get up, you know, you, it's just a one block higher jump is sometimes all you need. Also... Switch! And yeah, those can crush you and hurt you. Not like crushes and kill, but still. And you can't pick up items while time is stopped. You can't hurt enemies, though. Oh, oh, I forgot the epicness. Oh, right. Um, if you're using the... If you're using the knives... Um, when time is stopped, Bunny actually throws a big clutch of daggers at the enemy. Which is just freaking awesome. It's like, um, that Zawardo thing. Oh, and this button is a dick move. <laughs> There's no use for that button. Um, but yeah, it's like the Zawardo thing where you just throw tons and tons of knives and then time returns and all of the knives fly into your enemy's face. It's awesome. This is one of the... I wouldn't say trickier, but it's easy to mess this up if you don't know what you're doing. You gotta... If you go through calmly, you'll be fine. Bunny doll. Oh. Right. There is a time cat in this area which prevents you from using your time powers. That sentence made complete sense, I assure you. So yeah, that area... See, that really wasn't that bad. Also, once again, sometimes the graphics are just a complete lie. So, if you don't see any way to open, like, a wall or something, or break it, try just walking on through it. Oh, crap. Um, we might be in trouble here. Yeah, that is our time cat. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, that's the time cat. Apparently, if he's wounded, he can't reset your time thing. But what you're supposed to do is hit him with a spike hammer. Be very, very careful if you're going to jump on him. It does kill him, but if you, if time isn't stopped, he's invincible. So, oh, and you can jump on enemies when time is stopped. And that's just a quick shortcut down there. Um, if you bounce on him when time is not stopped, you can get stuck in an infinite loop, which... It's a very annoying bug. No, I want this. Not give me any other weapons. You want to kill these guys. They will make life difficult for you when suddenly flatten a despot if fuck, 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 fuck. Their mascot. I think it's if you press any button at exactly the right Ah, oh, shit, I'm doomed. Yeah, she is actually really quite hard. She fires one laser lower than you, and then raises it, and then one over you, and then lowers it. So, also you can bounce on lasers, if that wasn't obvious. So what you want to want to do is jump over and or bounce on the lasers. Good. And yeah, I'm just going to use all my bunny dolls. Um, I try not to save like, 
whenever I die, even if it was near a save point, I try to just use the bunny dolls. Because you get a maximum of 20 of them, and it is definitely enough to complete the game. Um, perhaps barring the final boss. The final boss is very hard. The other ones, not so much, once you learn their tricks. And don't even think about trying to bounce on her head. It will be a world of pain. This, for me, this she's one of the hardest enemies in the game. The final boss is... And you better believe there are multiple final bosses. Um, and multiple forms of them. Those are, of course, way harder than her, but... She's definitely the hardest mini-boss. And she's really harder than most of the normal bosses. Just because her scythes can be a bitch to dodge, and she has a good chance of knocking you into the spikes if you get too close. One merciful thing is she gives you that. And she won't respawn, so this path always stays here. Before suffering a disgusting death, avert your eyes. That, surprisingly, is actually a tip for the upcoming boss. Ooh, it's disgusting. Finally something I could talk to has shown up. <laughs> and he speaks German, of course. And he's got the Gundamonium gun in his head. Sorry, no speaky German. Lass sie kommen. English, please. The Freiheit ist der Teilbar. I'm telling you, you don't understand, you fucking crap. <laughs> all, the, all the Freie mentioned sind Berger von Berlin. He, he, what he's saying is complete nonsense, by the way. Just random sentences. Just stop talking already, we can't understand each other. Ich bin ein Berliner. Best way to beat this guy, if you can't see him, turn the fuck away from him. He flashes you, and it is an instant kill. Like, seriously. He will show you his junk, and you will die if you see it. So yeah, if you... If he seems to have spawned on the other side of the map, just look away. Crap. <laughs> and that, whenever I respawn, I always bump into that stupid thing. But yeah, best way to... Oh, crap. Yeah, staying away is... I think if he's off screen, his flash won't kill you. Could be wrong about that. But yeah, bouncing on his head does pretty good damage. Also, he does the flash after most of his attacks, so just. Also, I think you can walk under his cloak. And when he starts flashing, stop bouncing on his head immediately, unless he's going to die. Yatta! And yes, he is totally a reference to uh, Dracula from Castlevania. With considerably more flashing than I recall in Castlevania. Ow. Right. Shields. Hurts. Frickin' monitor. I need to remember to disable the uh, thingy dingy. It does that when I play this game. Yeah, the reason it d it's not registering any key presses is because I'm using my, um, oh god. This is deceptively simple. Hold the jump button and run into the room. Run. Okay, run into the room, hold the jump. It's... There we go. Okay, run into the room, hold jump after you fall off the ledge, and you will bounce on the lights. Then you do it once again going across. You can get over there by bouncing normally, but it is way harder and much more likely to get you killed. Because if you bounce normally, look, you will you can hit the spikes on that last run. So this game has lots of clever tricks like that. They're usually not required to beat the game, they're just for extra stuff. Speaking of extra stuff. Excellent. Um yeah. 
Also, the FAQ that I read refers to this as grape flavored madness, which is awesome. It does look very grape flavored, doesn't it? Also, very mature. Um, press the switches. We don't know what they do yet, but do press them. They are important. Also, it gets dark in here if you break the lights. Like, seriously, it'll get pitch black in certain areas. Or almost pitch black. So avoid breaking the torches. It's too dark to read the sign. We will come back and read that sign later when we have that light on. I I'm so tempted to spoil what it says, but I won't. Yeah, turning o pressing all the switches turns on the lights. I think. Though some of the switches were unrelated to that. I guess I should save. In condition to the speed run thing and not saving every time I can. Also, when you hit that, the flash uh, shows you the light. Like, there's an odd sentence. Um, it, you know, it shows you the map. Also, be very careful to kill everything in this room without destroying the lamps. Or at least destroying ow, as few as you can. Because you will need those lamps later on. Ouch. And if you don't jump straight up, you can uh, get through lamps without breaking them. This is where I wish I could turn off those shoes, but I don't believe I can. You picked a bad spot. I love that all the items swarm to you after you. Crap. Oh, should be enough light left. Shit. And you want to make sure you have enough time, like time power, to do this. Because. Very bitchy timing, but you can reverse time and. That is one of the nicest features of the reverse time, is getting a little more leeway with some of these puzzles that are really quite tricky to do if you don't... Okay. Kill. Okay. Die. Like, I needed... Wait. No, I didn't need that. Okay, that's one of the trickier timings, but you only need to do it once. What you need to do, stop time, just like I did there, run off, kick, and then hold up to do the sweep up, and unpause time when you're in the air. Also, you can sweep kick down, like, but I've never found any reason to do that whatsoever. I just find it's kind of neat that you can. Yeah, you definitely want to kill these guys, because they make doing that a real pain in the butt. 